you probably want to move to New York City right now, but you are giving yourself every single excuse on why you shouldn't do it yet. So I'm gonna be that sign of why you should move to New York City basically right now. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons on why you should move to New York City right now. One sign that you're probably ready to move to New York City is if you just have this feeling inside of you that you just want more out of life. What you have right now isn't enough and you just know that you can accomplish so much more in your life. That is definitely a sign of the type of person who belongs in New York City. Another really common sign you definitely need to move to New York City if you haven't already is if you are watching TV or movies and they're talking about New York City or the characters live in New York City, yet you find yourself feeling jealous of those characters who are living in New York City. Now, before I lived in New York City, I felt like this all the time. And I'm not a very jealous person. So when I occasionally have like that feeling, for one, I'm first I'm like, wait, is this what jealousy feels like? Cause I'm not really that type of person to have that. But then that when I did have it for people living in New York City, I was like, okay, yes, this is definitely jealousy. So that is definitely a sign. You're watching Friends or you're watching Gossip Girl and you're like, oh my gosh, they're so lucky to live there. You need to move to New York City. Now, I do warn you, it is not going to be like that at all. New York City is definitely not like it's painted in movies or in TV shows. Yes, there are certain times where it might feel like you are in a movie or a TV show. However, that's probably like 0.001% of your time in New York City. So I'm just being real with you here, but at the same time, I do think that if you have those feelings, even the hard times or the not so glamorous times in New York City, it's gonna be worth it if you already have those feelings of jealousy. So if you have those feelings, those not so glamorous times in New York City are even still worth it. Another sign that you should probably move to New York City is you're just a career driven person and you know that you could have such a good career if you moved to New York City. So not every career is meant for New York City. We all know that. However, there are so many different ways that people in all different types of careers can thrive here. There's just so many different industries and opportunities that most careers, most, not all, can definitely find a way to make it in New York City. Now, yes, there are the typical ones. There are finance, typical here. Theater, acting, any type of performer, very typical here. Real estate, very typical here. At the same time, there are so many others that people don't talk about and they're not as glamorous, but you could still have such a great, amazing career here and honestly build this, build this like amazing life for yourself. So the next sign that you should probably move to New York City is if you are sick of your hometown. Now, I can definitely relate to this. I'm from a small Connecticut town. And yes, I know Connecticut isn't that far outside of New York City. So a lot of you guys are probably watching this in all different places, either across the US or even across the, the world. So I know that you're very, you're a lot further away from New York City than I probably was. But at the same time, being in a small town, even if it was just in Connecticut, felt like I was just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles away. That's how it felt. I felt like I, I was under two hours away from the city, yet it felt like I was about 20 hours away from New York City because I just felt like the distance between New York City and my hometown was just so large and I just needed to fill that gap and be able to get to New York City as fast as possible. I couldn't wait to leave my small hometown. Now, respect to my hometown, I mean, it's a great place to live. It's just that if you have that feeling that it's just not enough for you and that you know that you're not reaching your full potential in that small hometown, maybe it's time to go. Maybe it's time to try a place like New York City. The last sign that you should probably move to New York City, and honestly, probably my favorite sign, is that you always dreamed of living in New York City as a kid. Now, this is another one that's very sentimental to me because I couldn't stop dreaming about living in New York City as a kid. My sister actually told me about this story not too long ago where I would go to the library, like the library of like my small town where I grew up, and I would check out books 
all the time, like almost every week, about New York City. And they were like, kind of like, I don't know, like travel guides and like history books about New York City, all different ones. And I completely forgot about this until she reminded me about this not too long ago. And I was like, wow, I was so weird. Like, who does that? Who does that as a child in a small town? Like, that is crazy. But here we are. And I guess that was a sign. So if you find yourself, or if you found yourself doing stuff like that, or maybe the more normal version, just talking about movies in New York City, you probably belong here, at least at some point in your life. And it might be time for you to make that move. So those are just some of the signs that you should move to New York City. There is so many of them, and I can honestly probably make a video about this literally that lasts all day because I can just go on and on and on about the topic. But those are five signs that really just stick out to me because for one, I relate to every single one of them. Two, I really do think that so many of you can probably relate to so many of them right now. So if you find yourself even relating to one of them, you might want to really think about if moving to New York City is the right move for you.